हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक एच डी एफ सी बैंक अप बाय थ्री परसेंट इन ओनली वन डे आई एम डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा पर्पज ऑफ द वीडियो इज फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी टुडे इंडियन मार्केट्स वर वीक निफ्टी वॉज डाउन बाय अराउंड जीरो पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट हाउ एवर ए फ्यू स्टॉक्स ट्रेडेड पॉजिटिव एच डी एफ सी बैंक वॉज अ टॉप गेनर इन निफ्टी इंडेक्स टूडे as it rallied by 3.4% today at around 1735 at the time of shooting this video it is around 3% from its 52 weeks high of 1794 hdfc bank quarterly results net profit july september 2023 17312 crores july september 2024 18627 crores and up by 7.5% Net NPA July September 2023 0.35% July September 2024 0.41% HDFC Bank other parameters total deposits quarter ending September 2023 21 lakhs 72111 crores quarter ending September 2024 25 lakhs 100 crores and up by 15.1% total advances Loans quarter ending September 2023 20 lakhs 38,500 crores quarter ending September 2024 23 lakhs 54,000 and up by 15.5 percent. Branches quarter ending September 2023 7,945 quarter ending September 2024 9,092 and percentage change plus 14.4 percent. ATMs. Quarter ending September 2023 20,596. Quarter ending September 2024 20,993 plus 1.9 percent. Good results for the company. It was much better than analysts' expectation. This was the reason for the rally in HDFC Bank shares. The shares have rallied after many days. Between 26 September end to 7th October. HDFC bank share had fallen from 1783 to 1680 now again it has rallied today from 1681 to 1735 HDFC bank shares have been consolidated and underperforming for more than 3 years now as of now the business performance is good but not as good as it used to be earlier this is the main reason for investors to be disappointed for the last many quarters As of now, it looks like the merger with HDFC Bank has not been successful as expected by HDFC Bank. This is the reason for the stock to trade in a narrow range. Analysts and investors are hoping that whenever the stock price consolidation ends, it could provide good returns in a very short period of time. Another news is that HDFC Bank will sell equity share worth rupees ten thousand crores via an offer for sale that is OFS in its subsidiary. HDB Financial Services Limited as part of the IPO the total IPO size will be around 12500 crores including a fresh issue of rupees 2500 crores preparation for the IPO is going on and is likely to be launched before March 2025 so this will help HDFC Bank to monetize its holding in its subsidiary now many investors have already lost patience The HDFC Bank shares since it has underperformed the overall market for more than three years. It has the highest weightage in the Nifty 50 index, hence its performance will be important for the overall performance of the Nifty 50 index. Currently, its weightage is 11.34 percent. It will be very interesting to see whether the HDFC Bank can broadly regain its old glory or it will stay a laggard in the coming years too. Here is an announcement. ಶೇರು ಮಾರುಕಟ್ಟೆಗೆ ಈಗ ಪಾದಾರ್ಪಣೆ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಹೇಗೆ ಒಂದು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಲೈವ್ ಇದೇ ಮಂಗಳವಾರ ನಾಳೆ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಭರತ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕರ್ನಾ ಚಾನಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಡು ಯು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಯುಮ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಟನ್ Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and all the best.